gon' give it to ya Fuck way for you to get it on your own X gon' deliver to ya What's up nerds, welcome back to Tea Time with your favorite software engineer I know I've been gone for a while, I took a hiatus for like Thanksgiving and holidays And just not getting back into making videos so make sure you guys check out my channel, subscribe, hosting a lead code competition every month with a cash prize. So that's in my Slack channel and the link to that is in the description. And now let's get to the problem, pass some too. Uh, it's a medium problem. This is a good problem. I really like it. Um, good binary tree problem. So let's go ahead and read it. Given a binary tree and a sum, find all root two leaf pass where each pass sum equals the given sum. A leaf is a node with no children. So... Um, the sum here is 22, so they just want us to find a path to from root to leaf. So that means a leaf has no children, so it's children are no. And the sum of all of these, so 5, 4, 11, and 2 is 22, and 5, 8, 4, and 5 is 22. So <clears throat> let's think about the intuition behind this first. Um, you know, trees typically BFS and DFS. So which one would we want to use? Well, um, BFS would be, we would have to go level by level, right? But this problem is asking us to find the pass from root to leaf. So we know right off the bat that we don't want to use BFS just because of the, uh, how the problem is solved. Um, Cause if we were using BFS, we'd have to keep track of each level in an array basically. And at the same time, we'd have to keep track of all the levels. So that's just like a lot of extra work. If we do DFS, we can just keep track of one path. And then when we curse back up, we just uh, keep track of that path. So that's a lot easier. So we know DFS is the way to go. And we're going to be using recursion because it's DFS. So I'm just going to code it out right away. Um, I don't feel like I need to do anything on the whiteboard yet. So the first thing we want to do is our base case. So if root, let me scroll this down. Actually, no, we don't want to do a base case because we have to return a list of list of integers. So first thing, let's create our list of integers. List. And so this is what we're going to return at the end. Let's call it. Uh, where did that just go? Shit, I think I erased it. Oh, you know what? I think it's in here. Okay, sorry. Oh my God. Equals new array list. And then we just want to have a single list. So that's where we're going to keep the, actually, this is paths. This is where we're keeping all of the paths. And <clears throat> sorry, I'm not used to having a microphone right in front of my mouth. New array list. And so now we want to do our base case. So We just want to return um, paths because that's what we're returning. And then we're just going to call a function to calculate or yeah, calculate the paths basically. So let's pass in paths, path, root, and sum. Faka. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy at the door. So the reason I call this pre-order is because we're going to do left first. We're going to go down the left side first. Sorry. Um, if we were doing post order, we'd just go down the right side first. So pretty simple. And let's return paths. And yeah. Okay. So now let's create a function. So this is going to be a void function called pre-order. And let's pass in the functions. Pass list of integer path and tree node that's yeah, root next and is it integer it's int sum okay I'm gonna zoom out a little because it's like Uh, all right, 
So if root is null, so this is our base case again, we're just basically going to return. Um, and then we're going to want to calculate the sum. So as we go down, we're going to want to basically subtract, take um, sum minus this number to give the remainder. So in this case, sum is 22. So we're just going to do sum minus equals uh, root dot val. That's what we passed in. And then we're going to add it to path dot add root dot val. We want to add it to the path. And now here's where we're going to check to see if um, we have to think. So we want to see if this is first a, uh, what is it, root, root to, yeah, root to leaf path. So for that, it's children have to be um, null. So we want to check both children root dot left equals null and then we just want to see if the sum equals zero and if it does we're going to add pass add we're going to add path to paths all right and um the last thing we want to do is this is a recursive problem we're using dfs so we want to call pre-order on the left side and on the right side and there's a little trick to this um i'm gonna code this out first and then i'll explain it so it's path path root and some oh i forgot the left part and three order paths path root dot right so because we're doing left first it makes it pre-order so it's important to distinguish that in your function problem um so this actually won't work and I'm going to show you guys. Yeah. So you see, these are way bigger. Um, that's because this is supposed to be, that's a, I believe it's, um, shall copy. You need a deep copy. I think don't quote me on that. It's one of the two. I always get the two mixed up, but basically what this is doing is it's passing in a new, um, path, uh, variable so it's got its own like memory allocated to this specific path um because once you add the root dot val to it if you don't pass in a new path in each recursive call you're just passing in the same exact variable so you're just adding all those numbers on top of it and that's why this gets so big but when you uh create a new copy then um when you recurse out when you bounce out of the recursion and you execute the next one the last number pops off because it, it resumes where you were in the recursive stack. So the, you have a path variable for each recursion uh, in the stack, basically. So hopefully that makes sense. Now this will work, should work. Yep. And there you have it. That's how you do path sum. So let's just go over the runtime. Um, I believe it's O of N. Yeah, uh, because we're just checking all the nodes. We have to check all the nodes. So it's linear and then um same for space uh yeah i believe it's o of n as well oh no it's o of n squared we're adding our number no space we got complete oh because it, i didn't think if it's a complete binary tree so it's actually o of n squared in worst case um in this case it's actually just o of n that's why i got confused so the space complexity is o of n yeah so Okay, so they, they kind of like debate the space and runtime there in the problem or solution. So that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys learned something and understand this problem a lot more. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.